Ooh, watch out. What's up, people? You are here with Troy Brooks, New York City Lululemon Ambassador. Today, I'm gonna put you through a nice 20 minute workout. We are using resistance. That means if you do not have dumbbells, kettlebells, or bands, you are picking up whatever it is that you have that you can comfortably move to use as weight. All right, let's get it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna get into is that warm up. We're gonna have 20 seconds per movement. We're gonna run through this about four times. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get into that inchworm. I love a good inchworm, starting with those feet, hip width apart. Try not to bend the knees too much. Try to use that hip hinge so you get that hamstring stretch. Walking out to a nice high plank position. Shoulders are stacked over those wrists, arms are locked out, squeezing the glutes, creating tension through that core. You get to walk back, reach those arms overhead. You're feeling spicy, you can add a little push up at the bottom in this movement. You can even add a little mountain climber. This depends on how spicy you're feeling, how much sleep you got. Right after we're done with those inchworms, we're just gonna hold that high plank, bring that left foot outside the right hand. If you need a little bit more range of motion, feel free to drop that back leg. We're gonna go into a nice T-spine rotation and we're gonna alternate, right? So you can bring it here, alternating, getting your hips nice and mobile, getting that upper mobility and that upper spine. We're gonna walk back to that high plank. Feet are at least hip width apart, probably about the, the space of your mat. Knees go out, hips go back. Keep that chest nice and tall. Try not to lean too far forward. Sit back in that chair. We're going right into our air squats. Make sure the knees are tracking over the toes. Stand up, lock the quads, squeeze the glutes nice and tight. 20 seconds here. You don't got a lot of time, so you're trying to get a good amount of reps. Once we're done there, we're gonna go into reverse lunges with the rotation. Again, getting a little bit more mobility here. So start with those feet hip width apart. Gently tap that back knee. Nice rotation. Nice rotation. Once we're done with those Reverse lunges, we're gonna finish out first set of this warm up with a nice good morning stretch, stretching out the lower back, the hamstrings and the glutes. Muscles again that we're using here. So we're gonna start with our feet hip width apart. Try not to bend the knees too much, it's not a squat. We wanna initiate that movement through the hips, stretching out our hamstrings, our glutes, our lower back. We're gonna interlock our fingers, pull back. Make sure the head is in a neutral position so you don't have to tuck it like that. Squeeze the glutes, nice and tight. Once that's done, we're gonna take it right back to the top. The warm up is four minutes here, all right? Getting that body nice and primed and ready for movement. Woo! All right guys, you just crushed that warm up and you're ready to get into the workout. We're gonna get to our first set of movements here. So that means the first set of movements that we're going through, we are working for 40 seconds and then resting for 20 seconds. On for 40, off for 20 and we're going through this three rounds, right? So we got three movements that I'm about to demo. The first movement that we got coming up is gonna be that push up to shoulder tap. I'm gonna make sure our feet are nice and wide. I like to screw my hands in, push up, tap the shoulders, tap the shoulders, push up, tap the shoulders, tap the shoulders. You wanna make it a little harder. Tap, tap, less break in between those push ups. Wanna make sure we're not rocking through the hips, that's why we open the feet nice and wide. Think of your body as a tripod. Second move that we got coming up is gonna be that RDL. That stands for Romanian deadlift, and we're gonna add a nice bent over row. So we're targeting our posterior chain, hamstrings, glutes, stabilizers at the back, and then getting that nice row for those upper back muscles as well, all right? Now, if you don't have dumbbells, that's cool. You're using whatever you have here. You're gonna start with your feet hip width apart, soft bend in those knees, suitcase position, Hinge, head comes down, pull back, extend, squeeze the glutes. Nice and controlled here. The last move that we are doing is gonna be a squat to bicep curl. Gonna make sure our feet are at least hip width apart. Knees go out, toes track in the same direction here. Feet hip width apart. Make sure you're not rounding forward. We're gonna get into that good squat. Make sure you're not tucking the chin. You're not looking up in the sky here, all right? That neck position is gonna be optimal to make sure that we don't get injured. We're gonna drive down. One, 
two, three, four. Nice and controlled. One, two, three, four. All right, once we're done with that, you know it would not be me. If you know me, you know it would not be me if I didn't give you a nice little finisher. This is gonna be nothing short of spicy. All right, this is going to be a three minute AMRAP. AMRAP stands for as many rounds as possible. So we only got three minutes on the clock and the numbers that you need to remember are four, five, six. So remember, you're gonna start with four burpees. All right, burpee is simple. Just think, touch, drop, pop, jump. Nice and controlled, right? If you cannot do that, you can go into a squat thrust. You can drop out, kick here, step back, walk in, all right? Four of those. Once you're done the burpee, we're gonna drop right into that hand release push-up. Hands come off the floor. One, two, three. Once you hit five, you're gonna turn right over onto your back. Legs are long. Try to get that hamstring stretch. If you're here, you wanna make it a goal to be able to extend your legs all the way out. Shins towards the toes. We're coming all the way up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Once you're done, right back into it again. Three minutes on the clock, as many rounds as possible. We got two minutes on the clock now, let's get into this cool down. If you are standing and you're doing this and you are cursing me out, that is cool. Just put your hands on the floor, walk out to that nice high plank. Once you get here, you're gonna pike your hips back. We're gonna go right into that downward dog. Try to get your head through your shoulders. Feel free to pedal those feet back and forth a couple times. And then we're gonna bring those hips forward right into that nice upward dog. Had a good time today? Give yourself a couple of yeses with the head. You wanna do it again right now? Give yourself a couple of no's. Beautiful job. We're gonna pike those hips back one more time. And then we're gonna bring that right leg forward. Bring it right outside that right hand. You're gonna drop that back knee. I'm gonna take that right hand. Right hand is gonna push inside that thigh. Make sure the toes and the heels don't come off the floor. And then you're gonna look in the opposite direction. And then smile. Beautiful job. Once you feel comfortable here, we're gonna go here, bring the hands back in. Nice, big squeeze. Don't think about pushing or lunging forward. Just think about squeezing this glute. You should feel that stretch in your hip flexor and your quad. Nice overhead stretch. And then from here, I'm just gonna sit back. There we go, stretching out the hamstring. And then we're gonna do the same thing on this side. So we come back to that position. Feel free to jump that leg out. Once that leg is out, you're in this position. Remember, that hand is gonna come here. We're pushing out, looking down the direction. Once you get here, make sure that knee's in line with the hip. Squeeze the glutes. Squeeze that glute. Big reach. And then you can bring it forward, stretching out that hamstring again. Nice. So once I feel comfortable, I'm gonna take this leg, bring it forward. I'm gonna take my other leg, bring it forward. Sitting here, trying to keep the chest up, right? So bringing everything forward, mobilizing back and forth, trying to keep the heels down, just kind of playing around with the range of motion if you have it. You wanna be pushing out on the knees while lifting the chest. You feel this in your lower back, stretching it out. I'm gonna bring my hands to the floor, wiggle the feet underneath my hips, come up nice and slow. One vertebrae at a time. If this is your first time doing this thing, doesn't matter. Celebrate the fact that you're moving. Hope you had a good time. And there we are. I don't know why I just did that kick. I've never done karate in my life. I just, that felt, that felt good though. 